everybody today's video is going to be 10 ways to properly prepare for back to school so you know you don't want to just go back to school unprepared a lot of you guys are like Carla you're doing these videos really early blase blase but at least I'm keeping you prepared for back to school so just for a bonus way to stay prepared for back to school subscribe to my YouTube channel subscribing on my YouTube channel is going to allow you to see my daily back to school videos yes daily I'll be posting a new video every day also click the little bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe to turn on my upload notifications and also be sure to follow me on my social media. I will be posting all of my giveaways and things on there. So you're definitely going to want to be subscribed. But let's get into the 10 ways to properly prepare for back to school. Okay, so the first way to properly prepare is to get some rest, kids. Okay, do not be up all school all night the day before school. I know some of you guys are excited and you can't sleep, but literally, even if you have to get into bed at like 7 p.m. and just sit there with your eyes closed, keep them closed. Keep them closed. You will eventually go to sleep and you will get some rest. Even if it takes an hour, even if it takes an hour and a half, you're still not up till like 10 p.m. Like really don't stay up till 10 p.m. the day before school. Like don't you want to be super well rested and super energized that first day back to school? So don't be on your phone, don't be scrolling on social media, don't go on Instagram, I don't want to see you on Twitter, I don't want to see you texting your friends on FaceTime, talking about your excitement. You can see them the day y'all go back to school. And you'll be rested and you'll be ready to go. Number two, eat and work out. All right, so get right for the first day. So eat healthy and work out. You want your body to feel good. You can even take like daily vitamins and just eat right and go to the gym so your body's looking right for the first day, like you're feeling good about yourself. And it's not about literally shape or figure. All shapes and sizes are beautiful. But when you work out, you're naturally just going to feel better no matter how shape or what size you are. You know what I'm saying? You're just naturally going to feel better and more prepared for the first day back to school. All right, number three, pre-plan the first week of school outfits. So if you plan out the first week of school outfits, you can literally like take, say you plan out one of the outfits and you're like, oh, I like this one better. It will really help you figure out which outfit you should wear for the first day because you guys know you want to wear your bombest outfit on the first day so if you pre-prepare like five outfits you'll get to have like a drawing board you'll get to see what you're working with and you'll really get to see which outfit is really the best and you can wear that on the first day of school and to top it off you'll have all five of your outfits prepared to go so you won't have to be stressed out the first day of school you're gonna just be relaxed go to bed after school wake up ready to go in the morning you'll have your outfit ready to go so all you have to do is you know shower if you shower at night no matter what but wake up clean up brush your teeth do everything you need to do in the morning do your makeup and just put on your outfit and when your outfits already pre-prepared even if you just pre-prepare the first day or a few of the first days it's gonna make you feel better because you're already gonna be ready to go all right number of four do a face mask the day before and drink some tea I don't know what it is about drinking tea, but drinking tea just makes you feel so relaxed and it's just so warm and you're just like, ah, school is tomorrow. I'm drinking my tea and I'm ready to go. You know what I'm saying? And you're also going to want to do a face mask. This is going to make you feel really nice about your skin and it just makes you feel so girly just laying back, sipping your tea. Okay, and doing your face mask and it's just gonna get you really relaxed, get all of those nerves out if you're nervous for the first day of school and get all just even nerves for excitement, you know, it builds up all that energy. You're just gonna feel so relaxed after doing a nice face mask, you know, have yourself a bath, drink some tea, you know, light some candles if you're that age, you need parents permission if you are under 18, you know what I'm saying? You need to be responsible, I don't want no little kids messing with the candles, okay, relax, y'all don't need that. But the older people in college you know really relax light some candles drink your tea do a face mask sit in the tub play some nice drake and just relax before the first day of school pamper yourself number five 
do your nails and petty or get them done so be sure to have your nails done your toes done it's gonna make you feel really really pretty on that first day and it's gonna still be warm out so some of you guys are probably most likely gonna wear open-toed shoes so go into school that first day your best self so you are feeling good you're happy you're ready to go or even just get a pedicure because if you go out and get a pedicure it's also really relaxing you get a massage and I want y'all to get the luxury pedicure if you can okay get that extra minutes you know get your massage sit in the massage chair you know what I'm saying get your nails done really pamper yourself before the first day so you're prepared and you're feeling like your best self when you go back to school all right you guys number six drink lots of lots of water and stay hydrated it will be hot in on the first day of school and the schools who don't have acs in some of the rooms i know even at my school it was huge some of the classrooms didn't have ac sometime or in middle school or whatever and um you just want to be hydrated for that so you don't pass out or you're not feeling lightheaded during school you're really gonna just feel so much better with water and it's important to do this in general drink lots and lots of water stay hydrated so you're feeling good you have to water your body just like you need to water your plants okay don't drink tons of pop and juice and all this bad stuff you know what i'm saying like like you can have juice of course but i'm saying like be sure to drink your water too don't just only strictly drink juice or only strictly drink pop or soda you know Number seven, build on your self-confidence, okay? I have a self-confidence video coming on my channel, so I will link that down below, the self-confidence video, because you're going to want to build on your self-confidence, and it's going to make you feel way more prepared for back to school. That video is very, very, very powerful that I will be um, sharing with you guys on self-confidence, so I will have that link down below. It will really teach you guys how to go into school your best self and have the most confidence for school. All right, you guys, number eight, already organize all of your binders, folders, and your backpack. And don't mind, I'm looking down on my note sheet because I did write down the 10 um, things that I feel like you need to prepare for back to school on my notes. So that's why I'm looking down. But yeah, you make sure all your um, binders, folders are organized in your backpack. So when you wake up, it's ready to go. Again, kind of like your outfit being prepared. Your outfit will already be prepared. Your backpack will already be prepared. So you're not sitting there rushing around, running, sweating, not knowing where everything is. Then when you get to school, you're like, oh, I forgot this. If you already pre-prepare it before school, you have your name on everything, you organize it how you want to organize it, then you're just going to feel so much better for back to school because you're already going to be ready to go in the morning your backpacks ready you don't have to worry about getting it all together last minute just don't procrastinate with this back to school process the more ready you are for school and getting your mind in that zone the better you're gonna feel going back to school even if you do not like school at all <laughs> all right number nine pack a lunch on the first day now I'm saying to pack a lunch the first day so you don't have to worry about going and waiting in the lunch line and not knowing where to sit in you know the cafeteria so when it's your period for lunch you can just go in the cafeteria instantly find your friends instantly find a spot to sit instead of having to worry about going in line and waiting for that process especially if you have a bigger school you're gonna have to be waiting in line for a while and then after when you come out all the tables are taken you don't know where to sit you don't know where your friends are if you at least just pre uh pack a lunch for the first day of school then if you can of course then you'll be able to just again have a head start at finding a table for lunch finding your friends at lunch and feeling more comfortable for that lunch period all right you guys number 10 so i put stretch and get loose this will help you feel more relaxed for the first day so yeah the day before or even if you could wake up a little earlier stretch out your whole body literally stretch out your arms you know, stretch out your back, stretch out your legs, do a full body stretch. You guys know how more just like loose and relaxed you feel after a nice good stretch. It makes you not so tense. It gets you out of your nerves and you'll just feel a lot better going in on the first day of school. You're just going to feel all loose and like woohoo and you'll just be more relaxed going into that first day of school. 
And that is the 10 ways to properly prepare for back to school. I really hope that this helped you guys. Be sure to leave a comment down below of any other ideas that you guys think would be great to prepare for back to school. Let me know your back to school prep routines. Let me know the year you guys graduate, if you guys are ready for school, if you're not ready for school. Go down below, answer all those questions. I would love to talk to you guys. I want you guys to talk to you guys. It, get excited for school, okay? Get hyped for school. Read those comments. Leave a comment. Let's celebrate. I don't want you guys to be all down because it's back to school. This is great. You guys are getting closer and closer to the next chapter of your lives. You guys should all be super excited. So be sure to thumbs up for daily back to school videos. We are so 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 excited and i'm saying we because you guys everyone's in the comments so excited on all of my videos and it's just so exciting that everyone is just so pumped for this series on my channel so i love it i really do and that is it you guys i will catch you in my next video tomorrow <laughs> bye guys Mwah.